Hi, I'm Danny Glover. A brain aneurysm, or a bubble-like bulge on the brain artery, is one of the major risks for intracranial bleeding. We're now going to look at the risk factors for aneurysm rupture and how IR techniques are helping to treat this potentially deadly disease. It's not just a headache. It's often described as the worst headache of a person's life. In about 30,000 cases per year, it is the result of a ruptured brain aneurysm, also called a cerebral or intracranial aneurysm. An aneurysm is balloon-like bulging or expansion of a brain artery that has a thin, weak wall prone to rupture. Aneurysms are present in about 1 in 15 U.S. residents and occur more commonly in women than men. The rupture of an aneurysm is typically heralded by someone complaining of the worst headache of my life, and it's frequently described as a thunderclap headache causing immediate and severe headache, unlike any type of headache that someone has had before. So I went to work on Monday, and I had the worst explosion in my head. It was very painful, and I passed out. I just woke up, and there were paramedics around me, and, and I was rushed to the hospital. Most cerebral aneurysms are the result of congenital weak spots on brain arteries that balloon out over time. However, less commonly, brain aneurysms can be associated with a variety of other conditions, including infection, trauma, coarctation of the aorta, polycystic kidney disease, multiple connective tissue diseases, and brain arteriovenous malformation, or AVM. Hannah started uh, experiencing seizures. Um, they were just localized to her head, um, and it was like jerky head movements. We didn't know why she was having them. By May, uh, she had had an MRI, and it was confirmed that she had a vascular malformation in her right frontal lobe that was causing the seizures as well as her headaches. They also found a large aneurysm. And by July, she was at Children's Hospital having an angiogram with an embolization, and they were able to take care of the entire AVM, and they were also able to take care of the aneurysm at that time. Risk factors such as age over 60, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, smoking, previous aneurysm rupture, and aneurysm size greater than 10 millimeters all increase the chance of aneurysm rupture. All too often, a cerebral aneurysm is first discovered when it causes bleeding within or around the brain. However, some aneurysms may produce symptoms before they rupture, including headache pain and neurological deficits such as double vision. There's no doubt that a ruptured aneurysm is a life-threatening condition requiring immediate treatment. Sometimes this is accomplished by open brain surgery to apply a metal clip to the aneurysm to prevent rebleeding. However, a major medical study demonstrated lower morbidity and mortality rates associated with endovascular embolization of ruptured aneurysms compared to traditional surgery. Embolization typically employs small platinum coils to fill up brain aneurysms. Coil embolization of aneurysms is performed by interventional neuroradiologists through a small groin puncture in order to block blood flow into the sac. Sometimes when the neck of an aneurysm is particularly wide, a stent or small metal mesh tube or sometimes a balloon is first positioned across the neck to help secure the embolization coils within the sac and prevent their bulging into the normal artery. In addition, many wide neck aneurysms may now be treated with flow diversion, leading to the aneurysm's gradual clotting off or thrombosis. Flow diversion is accomplished by the deployment of a densely braided metal meshwork tube known as a pipeline embolization device across the neck of an aneurysm. Despite the seriousness of cerebral aneurysms, ongoing medical research continues to improve the odds of successful treatment, survival, and a positive outcome. And remember to recognize and respond to a stroke 
fast. F, facial droop. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. If you experience any of these signs or recognize them in someone else, then T, it's time to call 911 immediately.